Thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video I'll be looking at wrinkles and using the subject of Anthony Hopkins which is a great character, got great feeling and energy in his face. Be sure to look at it right through to the end because here and there I've included real-time footage so you can take a closer look. So let's dive in and take a look. Right, first of all, starting with the outline, I tend to use dark or mid grey just to draw the outline now. It's a neutral colour, so that it don't cause any problems when you're laying the colour on the top, so it's an ideal colour to start with. Here's the basic pencils, primaries and secondaries. Basically, I use these just to block in. I tend to use the chalkier ones, which are the Carbothellos and the Conti Paris ones. They seem to just get rid of that tooth of the board, the uh, pastel matte board, so it makes it easier for the subsequent layers then, when you put those on. Bit of real time footage now, just showing you how I'm using the dark green and red for the shadow areas, rather than using black. Above the drawing you can see a value scale of 9 values, 4 lights, 1 mid-tune and 4 darks. Now this is a really good idea when you're doing your pastels to start with is to actually use a scale like that so it helps you to actually judge the darks and the lights in the drawing. Once you've laid all the white down first, because you always put the white, I always do it a bit lighter to start with and then lay colour on top of that and then that white will shine through them when you lay the colours. Now you basically use red, blue and yellow, a uh, uh, yellow ochre for the yellow and then lemon yellow just to make it more vivid now and again. And the shadows, they are red and green. Now if it was orangey colour I'd use blue for the shadow and then I'd use brown and blue for the dark, really dark shadows. Right, this is a light meter I use. I always like to sort of work under, under around about 800, between 800 and 900 lumens. Now, if you have it too light, there's a problem then when you actually view your painting in a incandescent light, it looks too dark. So around that sort of figure, it looks okay in both lights. So I would suggest doing that really. It's worth buying one of those really. Just a matter of being patient with this, it's just take a while for it to build up. Now to dull the red, use the complementary colour, which is the green, you see me doing it here. So if the colour is too vivid, just add a little bit of its complementary colour and then it actually dulls it down. You just basically, layer after layer, just keep adding the colour and eventually it will, will come together. It's just having patience. There is a tendency to get really um, a bit disheartened because it takes a while for it to build up. But just keep at it, it will come together eventually. If you find value in this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free and then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Now 
One thing to remember when you're doing wrinkles is not to make them too stark, you know, don't don't let them be too deep in the lines. So just keep uh, adding the white and the other colors to sort of, you know, just soften the, the line. I use a, um, a cotton bud as well. I think that's, that's a good thing to use, just to sop, soften things. Now just to remember that, to, I've said this in many of my videos, is to open your heart. Um, the more you send love to the image, in fact, the more the energy will come back and more you can draw it. It just happens to flow through you. So you just need to relax, let go of the mind, open the heart and just let everything just happen by itself. So what I do with this is using the cotton bud to soften up the marks, but I'm doing sort of squiggly marks with the white and then going over with red, but then to dull the red down, I'm just going over with a little bit of a green. And then if I've gone over, if I over dulled it, just add the yellow and the red and it brings it back to a bit more vividness to it. At this stage, I'm looking at the portrait as a whole. So I'm just going where it feels right to go. So I'll just relax, let go of control and just let it flow. So wherever it, need, it needs work, I will just go there. So it could be several different areas. Right, here's some real-time footage so you can have a closer look at uh, seeing how I blend all the wrinkles. Just using the cotton bud there and also the colour shaper. All these materials I've put in the description below so take a look at that. I've also added the links so it makes it easier for you to find them on Amazon. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It would help with the algorithms and give the channel a boost. And if you could leave a comment, that'd be brilliant. And let me know what you think or, and also what uh, videos you would like me to produce. You know, just give me some ideas. Just so you can see the image at the correct angle, I've taken this still shot. Hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you so much for taking the time to watch it right through to the end. Please subscribe and give it a like and leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. It will give the channel a boost. Take care and be well. Thank you.